Hello everybody, welcome back. We're going to talk today about the easiest way to clear your shader cache. There's been a lot of videos going around YouTube about this lately. It's definitely an important thing to do. We want to do this anytime there's a sim update, anytime you update your graphics driver, and anytime you update things like the frame gen mod, I would suggest doing it then as well. But everybody makes this complicated and it doesn't have to be complicated. So let's go through this. And I'm also going to show you one thing that nobody else is showing you. So stay tuned for that. Um, first things first, go to NVIDIA control panel. And I'm so proud of myself for saying that properly. Um, in the global settings, manage 3D settings, global settings, come down to shader cache size. I've got mine set to unlimited. Um, and whatever yours is set to, you want to select disabled and then click apply. And this might take a few seconds for it to be applied. And there we go. So now it's uh, disabled. And so we're, we are now uh, ensured that nothing else is going to be written to the cache while we're trying to clear it. And also nothing is going to be occupied in the cache while we're trying to clear it. So you're not going to get any of those messages that say unable to delete this file. Um, so how do we find what we're looking for? Um, this is one of the things, so depending on which driver version you have, your, the, the folders that we're looking to clear are going to be in different places. So in my opinion, the easiest way to find these rather than going, you know, manually looking around, it might be here, it might be there in windows Explorer, uh, your C drive, click on users my uh you know and then select whichever username you have for your pc my pc is mtrn underscore n and then go to app data right so go go to your app data folder is the real short story here now what we're looking for is the dx cache and the gl cache we're looking for those two folders so the easy way to find those two folders click here on app data go up here into the search box up in the corner type in dx cache and hit enter and what's going to happen is it's going to search for it. it it might be in your local might be in your local low it might be, depends um, so windows is going to search for it and find the folder for you now what i do once i found it i right click on the folder come down here to send to and then I click send to desktop, create shortcut. And what that does, um, I actually have to re rename these, but these are the two folders, the GL cache and the DX cache. Um, what that does is sends the shortcut to your desktop. Let's see which one of these. Okay, this is the GL cache folder. So I'm gonna rename this actually GL cache. And then this one here is the DX cache. Um, that's the DX cache. I'm going to rename this one DX cache. Um, so you've so now what I've done is I have sent this folder to my desktop. So now when I'm looking for it the next time, all I have to do is come down here, click on DL, GL cache. Here it is, GL cache, and that's what I'm looking for. Highlight everything inside this folder, click delete, gone. There's that. Um, then what I would do is the same thing as I said for, uh, let's go app data, let's do it just so you can see, DX cache, and we'll do the search. It might take a little bit of time, just a few seconds because it's got to look around and find it, obviously. There we go. Again, I right click, send to, create desktop shortcut. And then that way I've got it right here next time I want to do this. Um, then I click in the folder, control, uh, control A, which selects everything. And then you hit delete. Goodbye. So all that stuff is now gone. This is fantastic news. So now we've clear, cleared our shader cache and what everybody else takes 20 minutes to show you how to do. So the next thing we're going to do, and this is the thing that people forget. This is the thing that people don't, don't show you. Go to start and type disk cleanup. 
okay? And it's going to ask you, it's going to say, Disk Cleanup Drive Selection. Select Drive C, click OK, and then this is going to come up. Uh, and what you want to do is select only, these probably will be selected, pre-selected already. Unselect them, whatever is selected. The only thing you want selected is the Direct X Shader Cache, okay? Once that is the only thing selected, click OK. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Click Delete Files. It's going to take a, a few minutes to do. Depends on how many you've got in there. And what this is doing, this is deleting the files in your D3DS cache. Um, now, this is part of DirectX, um, which is used for graphics display in games, okay? And uh, this is the one thing that people are not reminding you to do so uh, this is part of this is part of the graphics programming in Microsoft Windows you want to clear this cache as well um, it's this is going to take the longest part of the this is going to be the longest part of the video um, so rather than sit here and waiting for that to, to clear eventually it's going to be done and you're just okay there we go um, so now I'm going to add one more thing in here the other thing you want to do is delete your rolling cache. Now, everybody says, open the simulator, go into settings, general, data, select rolling cache, turn it off, click delete, blah, 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 blah. Way too complicated, way too long. Um, what you want to do, uh, you know that, uh, so the, if, if you come into, uh, let's do it this way. This is that weird Microsoft folder, um, the A-W-E-K-Y blah, 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 right? You can find the, the folder name on the, on the web. I'll put it in the, in the description of the video. Again, come into your app data folder. I'll put this in the description so you can just copy paste it and just search for this folder. So paste that into the search bar. Do, 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 do. That's my shortcut, which I don't need. Let's wait a few more seconds. Uh, this is going to be. So where it is, it's in your C users your username app data local packages folder I'll, I'll just put the link to the to the uh to this folder in the description of the video if you can't follow along right there then you want to go to local cache inside that folder find this file rolling cache ccc and go like this delete we have now deleted our rolling cache. That is done as soon as you turn, as soon as you start the sim again, it's going to reconstitute your uh, rolling cache for you. So you don't have to go through all this, all the steps in the sim itself. Just delete this file and you're done. Um, once you have done all these things, just restart your PC and you're good to go. Um, hopefully that's a much, much simpler and more comprehensive way to do this. And if you guys have any questions, be sure to let me know. Uh, final thought. I'm glad I almost forgot to say this. When you do all this, it, it you may experience worse performance for a brief period of time once you start the sim again. So maybe the first flight. Uh, it, it shouldn't be that long, maybe the first couple minutes of the first flight that you do after you've done all this, because it's reconstituting your cache, it's refilling up these folders. Um, I don't know the full, you know, th all the details about how it does and what it does. It doesn't really matter. The important point is it is going to have a performance hit probably for a little bit once you restart the sim, but as you know, over the course of a few minutes or your first flight or whatever, it will reconstitute the caches and you'll be good to go. The performance will come back. So don't expect it to be perfect right away. Give it some time when you restart the sim. So 
again, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Hope everybody is doing well, and we'll see you soon. Hey guys, one quick addendum. <laughs> I sort of forgot an important part, um, but I had to restart my computer anyway because I just went through the process. Once you're done with everything I showed you and you've restarted your computer, go back into NVIDIA, NVIDIA Control Panel. I'm sorry, I am so like stuck in my mind calling it NVIDIA and everybody calls it NVIDIA and I'm wrong. Um, go back into NVIDIA Control Panel, come back to shader cache size, in the manage 3D settings, global settings, shader cache size, set it back to whatever you had it before. I set mine to unlimited. Um, I saw a tip on it a while ago. I can't quite remember what it was, um, but somebody suggested uh, putting it on unlimited and I've done so and I have awesome performance, so I just leave it. Um, but just remember once you've restarted your computer to go back into NVIDIA control panel and uh, reset your shader cache size to whatever it was you had it before. And that's that. Thank you guys, and we'll talk soon.